Hey everybody, it's Kirsty here from Aussie Yarny. It's been a while, um, over a month. <laughs> I've been working, um, still crocheting and knitting, but I've been working and raising the kids, so I haven't really had time to do a lot. Um, I did want to show you guys, though, um, I did my first knit sweater. I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, I'm really impressed with it. It looks beautiful. Yes, I made that. It's not completely finished. I haven't done the ends in. Um, but I'm waiting for the needles to arrive. So I can finish it off. But yes, it's knitted. I made this. I made this. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with it. So yeah, I've just got to wait for the needles to arrive before I can finish weaving my ends in. Um, yeah, it's been busy. Very busy with work, um, it's now over with for the time being, so I thought I'd get some projects done for um, finishing off. I completed the sweater. I made a bag, yes, again, knitted. Each um, panel has a different pattern to it. The only thing that's the same is there's two just basic stockinette stitch, which is knitting pearl um but each panel has if you can see it i will show you guys a close-up picture of them later but each panel has a different pattern to it that's all knitted it's actually from a knit and arrow book um if you remember, one of um, Crystal's bag of days, she went shopping to a place over in Illinois. Um, I'm not sure exactly where, one of the towns over there somewhere. Um, and there was a bag hanging up. Um, and it's actually knitted with Noro yarn. I like the patterns, but Noro yarn to me is very expensive. Um, so I've made it out of acrylic instead. So yeah, each... I know, it's hard, it's not. <laughs> if I can do it, anybody can do it. But yeah, it did. took me two weeks to do it, um, which is surprising. The sweater took me three weeks. So Lynette, it's possible for me to make you a sweater if you'd like. I can do that. Um, I made this out of, it's a yarn from um, this one. It's a yarn from Premiere. It's a wool acrylic blend. I'm not 100% sure what it was. I don't really remember. You guys probably would know if you can see the colouring in it. Um, but yeah, it's got wool in it as well. So it'd be nice and warm for winter. Anywho, the bag itself took two of these. Mandel ombre cakes, which are 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 344 yards, 315 meters. It's a medium weight number four. Recommended 4.5 millimeter knitting needles, 5.5 crochet hook. 100% acrylic machine washable and dryable. It's a lime brand yarn in the color Zen. Um, it took two bands, well, two cakes. And I have nothing left. I don't think. Actually, I think I have. I think I have three quarters of a second one left. So I didn't quite take up two. But I'm in a conundrum at the moment. Um, trying to work out how to attach straps to the bag. Because actually, a bag for Mum is for her Christmas present. Um, I tend to get in early every year with making presents. We have bought them all except for three I still have to buy. But I'm up to date with it. Now, I bought these straps. I can't really probably see them. Um, off of the internet. Because what basically happened, I'll tell you guys, it's a long story, but I made this bag previously. I made it out of um, a yarn from webs. It was 100% wool that I made it out of and I fell to it and I made a massive mistake. Um, I'm actually quite disappointed because it cost me a fortune to buy it and it didn't work. Um, 
I felted it and instead of lightly felting it, I over felted it and stuffed it up. So I'm quite disappointed with that. However, I did make it again, as you can see. Um, and I already had these handles. I purchased them before I even started making the bag again. So disappointed, but um, these handles what I intend to put on for it. Um, but it's how to attach it because there's no, that's it, like it's just a straight piece of, it's not real leather, but um, I'm not sure how to attach it now, and I'm not going to spend my money before Christmas, and it won't get here in time anyway, so if you guys have any ideas, please let me know what you think, um, I'm just not sure how to attach it, I don't know, I don't think it would sit with, just by gluing it, I highly doubt it, the acrylic's not I'm not sure. If you guys have any suggestions, I'll gladly listen. Just leave it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, the pattern for the bag came out of this. So yeah, I have quite a few patterns in here I like. It's actually that bag there. That bag. So yeah, I have to decide how I'm going to put these handles on. But yeah, if you guys can let me know, um, I mean, there's holes, there is holes in that, but there's no holes up the feather up the, that's it, like, there's nothing else, I'm not sure how to attach it, help, <laughs> but yes, I have my first sweater, yay, um, I am back, I will be doing, um, videos occasionally again, um, I hope you guys um looking forward to it. I, um, I'm not even sure what I'm making next. I know I'm in the process of making a project. Keep an eye out for what I'm doing. I'm not letting you guys know until it's made because I have frogged it about 20 times. I'm not happy, I wasn't happy with the way it was coming out, but that's the thing of crafting. It tends to, um, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for your head, but when you're not happy with it, you need to, well, I tend to frog it until I'm happy with how things are turning out. So yes, I hope you guys are staying well and safe. Thank you for joining me again. I am back. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys can let me know how to attach these handles to the bag, I'd be muchly appreciated. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. If it was wool, I would still glue it, but it's not. It's acrylic, so I'm not sure how that's going to happen. Anywho, thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.